quicker than quick. Faster than fast. I am speed. That is great self-motivation. Did you come up with that? Anyone who loves animated movies would agree that Disney was on top of their game when they thought of the idea for the Cars franchise. Before 2006, no one in their right mind would believe that a movie about anthropomorphic vehicles would go on to become one of Pixar's most memorable projects. For a franchise of its caliber, Pixar has done a good job taking the fans along Lightning McQueen's journey from underdog racer to veteran Piston Cup winner. As the years rolled by, fans couldn't help but wonder when we would be getting a new installment in the main Cars franchise. So, we made a video to answer all the questions you might have on Cars 4. We live and breathe to make compelling videos on TV shows and animated movies, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our videos. There you go! 75 miles per hour. Out of range. Out huh? of range. Out of range. Even though Cars 3 didn't make as much as the first film, it was an impressive follow-up to the sequel that introduced the fans to the Cars universe. Watching Lightning McQueen take up a mentorship role felt like a befitting end to the story of the once arrogant rookie. The plot had always revolved around McQueen, but the addition of Cruz Ramirez made it feel like this story had finally reached its logical end. Instead of a new movie, Disney focused on spin-offs, shorts, TV series, and video games, and for a while it looked like that was all we would get going forward. Planes was meant to be its spiritual successor, and considering the shoes it was trying to fill, the movie did a pretty good job. Planes tried to fill the void, but couldn't match up to its main franchise, which collectively grossed over $1 billion worldwide. With a moneymaker that's guaranteed to bring in the big bucks, Pixar should be jumping at the chance to make Cars 4. But it hasn't been the case. From Pixar's unreleased movie schedule, we can see it might take a while before we get concrete info on Cars 4. The animation company has its hands full with the sequel to 2015's Inside Out and a new movie called Elio. If Pixar decides to make a sequel to Cars 3, we should be looking forward to an announcement trailer and maybe some teasers before we get the full-length trailer for the movie. All things considered, Pixar's schedule for 2025 and 2026 have yet to be announced, so there is still a slight possibility that they may reveal the next installment in the Cars franchise soon. It's It should go without saying that there can be no new Cars sequel without Owen Wilson, who voices everyone's favorite racer, Lightning McQueen. Another fan favorite who should return for Cars 4 is McQueen's best friend, Mater. The rusty tow truck is voiced by Daniel Whitney, who is known professionally as Larry the Cable Guy. We also can't forget McQueen's love interest, Sally, who shows him that he doesn't need to be an obnoxious show-off to the world for what he can do. She's a 2002 portrait. 911 Carrera, and she's voiced by Bonnie Hunt, who has been part of the franchise since the beginning. In Cars 3, we learn of the death of Doc Hudson, which meant that the sequel was the last time we would be hearing from Paul Newman, and we should expect things to stay the same in the next film. Cars 4 also introduced new characters like Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, and Natalie Certain, who were voiced by Cristela Alonso, Army Hammer, and Carrie Washington. Like we've seen its predecessors, every new Cars movie comes with its own set of new characters, and we would have to wait until the movie is confirmed before we get word of who they are. Who do you think you are? Look, Doc said when I finish, I could go. That was the deal. The deal was you fixed the road. Not make it worse. Pixar kicked off the franchise with the first Cars movie, which followed the obnoxious racer known as Lightning McQueen as he makes a name for himself in the cutthroat racing scene. McQueen starts out as an arrogant rookie who wants to prove to the world that he is the next big thing, and it leads to a terrible decision that ends up costing him the race. When the race ends in a three way tie, McQueen heads to LA on his transporter truck and somehow finds his way to the rundown desert town of Radiator Springs. In Radiator Springs, he he is forced into community service for damaging the road, but he soon falls in love with the town and its residents. The town's folk teach McQueen what it means to be humble, and with their help, he wins the first Piston Cup. The second movie leans into the spy trope with McQueen's and Mater going on a world-jumping mission. We are all amused to discover that spies exist in the Cars universe with the addition of Finn McMissile and his associate Holly Shiftwell. McQueen also moves on from the Piston Cup 
even takes up a challenge to compete in an international three-race event called the World Grand Prix. While McQueen focuses on the race, Mater has his hands full with a mission to uncover a plan to sabotage the race using a special exploding fuel. After Mater learns of a bomb planted in his air filter, he manages to keep McQueen safe and he reveals the mastermind behind it all. For his troubles, Mater earns an honorary knighthood from the Queen and the movie ends with a new Grand Prix in Radiator Spring. The third movie takes things back to its roots with McQueen competing for the Piston Cup. After winning the cup seven times, he realizes that he isn't the hotshot he once was. A new generation of racers who use technology to improve their performance run rings around McQueen, and he suffers a violent crash that ends his race season. After he recovers, he meets Cruz Ramirez, who tries to teach McQueen how to train with modern technology, but he just ends up destroying it. After failing spectacularly, he accepts that he will never be as fast as Jackson Storm, and he gets help from Doc Hudson's old mentor, Smokey. With aid from Doc's friends, McQueen learns new tricks to overcome his speed disadvantage and makes it to the race. He starts the race well, but after thinking about Cruz, he makes a bet to let her take his place in the race and it works. Cruz overtakes everyone and finishes the race ahead of the arrogant Jackson Storm to continue McQueen's legacy. And what do you say? Oh, hey, 35 mile per hour pit speed! I knew that! By the end of Cars 3, Lightning McQueen comes to terms with his inability to outrun the new kids on the block and he begins to take up coaching like Doc Hudson. Because Cruz Ramirez and McQueen both wore number 95, it meant that both racers won the race, which means we shouldn't count McQueen out just yet. A new Cars movie opens up a world of new possibilities for Lightning Man and the rest of the crew. They may decide on a story that sees McQueen get upgrades that allow him to match the current generation of racers, or they may have McQueen coach the next next generation of hotshot racers who will compete for the Piston Cup. Another idea floating around on the internet says a sequel to Cars 3 would introduce McQueen's kid who wants to compete for the Piston Cup. While this idea removes Lightning McQueen from the equation, it's not a bad idea to jumpstart a new era of the franchise with fresh characters. For now, it's too early to guess what Pixar may be cooking up for Cars 4, but we know that no matter where the story takes us, the fans will be there to cheer their favorite racers. 122 miles per hour, 134 miles, out of range, out of range. Cars might not be Pixar's most successful movie franchise, but it had everything the fans needed to have a good time at the cinemas. Growing up, the movies felt like they were made for kids, but watching Lightning McQueen's journey from arrogant rookie to wise coach is something even adults can relate to. Cars 4 may just be what Pixar needs to rejuvenate the franchise, and we hope the sequel makes it to the silver screen one day. So, do you guys think Cars 4 will make a killing at the box office? Let us know in the comments below. He just gave up the piston cut. You know that? Ah, this grumpy old race car no once told me something. It's just an empty cup.